Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about masturbation. <laughs> and I've gotten some video suggestions. Some people have told me to talk about this. We're talking about the side effects of masturbation. I'm sure in future videos I'm going to be throwing in more light to explain things on, on this topic. So today I'm not telling you how to do it. I'm not focusing on how to. In as much as I'm talking about the side effects, I'll still tell you what it means in case you don't know what it means and how to do it. But we are not elaborating how to do it. What I want us to find out in this video is, are there side effects to masturbation? So let's find out together. So masturbation is a healthy, normal, knocking activity. I know that somebody will be like, healthy, normal. <laughs> yes, of course. It is a healthy, normal, knocking activity. As a sex coach, I put it to you that it's normal and it is healthy. So there are a lot of myths regarding the masturbation, <laughs> the side effects. And a lot of these myths are false. We're going to look into it in this video together. So what is masturbation? Masturbation is when an individual stimulates their private part. That place you are using to get pleasure from someone else to achieve the big o or not when you masturbate you might either climax or achieve big o or you may not but it's, it is an individual activity so masturbation is common among men and women of different age brackets and it plays a role in healthy knocking development people of different age brackets masturbate both older, both young, both men, both women. And a lot of people masturbate for different reasons. Some people do it for fun. Some people do it for pleasure. Some people do it for enjoyment. And some do it for tension release. Some individuals do this alone, while some do it with their partner. So in this video, we are going to be talking about or fishing out or talking about the side effects or the mites that people have surrounding masturbation. And then we are going to be fishing out the facts from the fiction also going to be highlighting on the health benefits of masturbation masturbation mites there are a lot of mites surrounding masturbation although some of these mites has been debunked but in as much as it being debunked it keeps surfacing time and time again so most claims by masturbation is not backed up by science there is no scientific evidence suggesting that masturbation causes this these side effects one thing masturbation will not cause is hairy palms, blindness, impotence later in life, ED, erectile dysfunction, joystick shrinkage, joystick curvature, low count or low comb count, infertility, mental illness, physical weakness. So these are the 10 mites. Some things that people say that when you practice this act, it's going to cause you this. Now, these are maths and these are not facts. There is no scientific evidence backing up this. So, when you engage in this knocking activity, it doesn't cause all these 10 things that I just mentioned. And also, some people, some couple worry that when one of their partner engage in this act, that it suffers their relationship. This is also a might. Most men and women continue to do this act either when they're alone or when they're together with their couple or when they are in a relationship or in a marriage and some people find it so enjoyable in their relationship or their marriage there is a study that suggests that most women who masturbate enjoy their marriage more than people who do not engage in masturbation now let's talk about the side effects of this act and one thing you know is that this act or masturbation is harmless Although some people might experience chaffing or they might experience a tender skin if they are too rough. But this will usually heal in a few days. So you're not supposed to be doing it with dry hands. You're supposed to be using lube or balm. If men frequently masturbate within a short space of time, they may experience a slight swelling of the joystick called edema. And this swelling usually disappears within a couple of days. So other potential side effects include guilt. Some people who worry that masturbation conflicts with their religious, spiritual, or cultural beliefs may experience the feeling of guilt. 
However, this act is not immoral or wrong. And self-pleasure is not shameful. I know that a lot of people will roast me because of this, especially on Facebook. Discussing the feeling of guilt with a friend, a healthcare professional, or a therapist that specializes in sexual health may help a person to move past feelings of guilt or the shame they connect with masturbation. Number two side effect is decreased sexual sensitivity. Aggressive or excessive masturbation technique may lead to reduced knacking activity. If men have this habit of aggressive masturbation method whereby they hold their grip tight, it may lead to decreased sensitivity. So this one, you can resolve it over time with a change of technique. Be more gentle. Enhanced stimulations such as using a vibrator may increase arousal and overall knocking function in both men and women. Women who use vibrator have reported improved knocking function and lubrication, while men experience an improvement in their erectile function. Number three, prostate cancer. The argument here now is whether masturbation increases or decreases or causes prostate cancer. So researchers need to conduct more studies before they can reach an accurate conclusion. A 2003 study suggests that men who release more than five times in a week during their 20s are wanted less likely to develop an aggressive prostate cancer than those who release less often. So researchers concluded that the reduced risk is for the fact that they release more often. So they release, um, they prevent buildup that might in future come together to form prostate cancer. And then in contrast, a 2018 study said that um, when men release more or are more engaged in knocking activity, that they are more likely to develop prostate cancer, especially when they masturbate. Another side effect is disrupting daily life. In rare cases, some individuals may masturbate more than they desire in a day. And when they do this, it may cause them to miss work, miss school, or even miss important social event. It may also interrupt a person's daily functioning. It may also affect their relationships and responsibilities. It may serve as an escape for relationship issues or substitute for real life experiences. So if you're someone that thinks that engaging in this act too often will disrupt your daily life activity or affect you emotionally or affect you in any way, you should talk with your healthcare professional, especially someone that their specialty is on that sexual health. Now let's talk about the health benefits as um, we have castigated it enough. Let's talk about the health benefits of engaging in this act. So one thing you should know is that masturbation may relieve stress and tension. It has a lot of physical and health mental benefits. Few studies focused less specifically on the benefits on, of this act. But in general, it still involves stimulation. And um, when you stimulate, especially maybe during masturbation, Let's look at what you get out of it. Reduces stress, it releases tension, it boosts concentration, it enhances sleep quality, it elevates moods, it relieves menstrual cramp, it alleviates pain, it improves sex. Masturbation has also been identified as a strategy for improving neck and health by promoting intimacy, exploring self-pleasure desires and needs, reducing unwanted pregnancies, and also prevents sexually transmitted infections, STIs, and HIV transmission. Individuals who choose to abstain from sex or who do not currently have a knocking partner may often engage in this act as a sexual outlet. Masturbation also has a sexual health benefit specifically for older women, such as less kitty dryness and decreased pain during knocking. Take away. Some people might feel embarrassed, guilty, or ashamed when talking about 
this act. But this act is normal, it is healthy, and it's not something to feel guilty about. Masturbation will not lead to blindness or cause physical or mental health problems. In many cases, masturbation has more benefits than side effects. So masturbation is only a problem when it begins to interfere with your daily life and your relationship with friends, family, co-workers, and also romantic partners. So in those second, in that circumstances, it may be helpful or beneficial to talk to a healthcare professional, healthcare provider, especially a sex therapist. And I hope you found this video helpful. And I know you have something to say to me. Leave it down there below in the comment section. Let's talk about it. This is my opinion and I'm not trying to force it on anyone. And everybody have their own opinion, their own belief. So this is my opinion as a sex talker, as a sex coach. So you don't need to take my advice. I am just trying to throw light to this and run you down on the health benefits and the mites that we hear about it. And just for you to know the truth that it doesn't cause blindness or it causes these side effects that people think that it does. But if it's something that you know that your belief won't allow, just do not practice it if you're not comfortable doing it. And I'm going to see you next time on the next one. Bye.